Good morning, friends. How are you today? Or maybe it's not morning when you're watching this, but anytime you're watching it, I say hello. This is Party at Storytime, and I have a few stories to tell you today. The first story we're going to talk about is called Hide and Squeak. Not hide and seek, hide and squeak, because it's a cat and a mouse. And mouses go what? Squeak, squeak, squeak. <clears throat> so here we go. Mouse and I just love to play. Hide and seek is the game today. Mouse will try not to get caught as he hides first. Ready or not. That's what we always say when we play hide and seek. Count to ten and ready or not, here I come. Behind that curtain. Is that him? Are you there, Mouse? You think Mouse is behind the curtain? No, I'm a bird. There's a bird behind that. What if I open the cupboard a little wider? Are you there, Mouse? Does that look like mouse legs? Oh no, I'm a spider. There was a spider in the cupboard. What if I pick up this pillow? Are you there, mouse? Do you think the mouse is gonna be under the pillow? Let's see. No, I'm a pup. Little puppy dog sitting there. Let's go to the next page. It's in the water in, in the little aquarium. Inside the castle. Did the water just swish? Are you there, Mouse? You think Mouse is in the aquarium? No, I'm a fish. That's a fish in there swimming around. Could he be hiding under this hat? Are you there, Mouse? Do you think the mouse is there? Yes. Hello there, cat. That's where the mouse was, under the cat's hat. How silly is that? Will you share some cheesy lunch? Thank you. Yum. I'd love to munch. And next, said Mouse with a squeak, you will hide and I will seek. So they were each going to take a turn at the hide and seek game. Isn't that fun? Yeah. Let's stop a minute and let's sing the song that we've learned about Easter. The come run see the rock a rolling. Okay? Come run see the rock a rolling. Come run see it roll away. Come run see the rock a rolling. Come run see on Easter day. Yeah, the rock rolled away. Jesus wasn't there. He had risen. He was alive. He had died for our sins rose again to give us eternal life. That's a great story. Now I have a little game we're going to play and it's called, did it come from an egg or not? So if it came from an egg, we'll put it under this little yellow egg. And if it didn't come from an egg, well, no, it did not come from an egg. So the first one I'm gonna ask you chicken. Did a chicken come from an egg? Yes, it does. So we'll put the chicken under the egg. This is a cow. Does a cow come from an egg? No. We got to put that under the no one. Okay, how about a sheep? Does a sheep come from an egg? No, it's like the cow. It does not come from an egg. But what about this creature? This is an alligator. Do alligators come from eggs? Yes, yes they do. So that goes over by the chicken. The alligator might eat the chicken. Whoa, that would not be good. Okay, what about a pig? Does a pig come from an egg? No, let's put the pig over here. What about a duck? Does a duck come from an egg? Yes, 
Is there such a thing as duck eggs? Yeah. What about this? This is a spider. Yeah, spiders come from eggs. Yes, they do. I guess some don't, but some do. That's the way that goes. What about a horse? Does a horse come from an egg? No, no. Horses are born live from their mothers. What about a fish? Yeah. Some fish are born from eggs, so we'll put that under the egg one. Two left. I don't want to trick you up now. What about a bunny? A bunny may be the collector of eggs on Easter, right? But a bunny is not born from an egg. Last one. We got a little chick. What do you think? Is the chick born from an egg? Yes. Chicks are born from eggs. Boy, did you guys do a great job on that, knowing what came from an egg and what <clears throat> didn't come from an egg. Good job. Our next story is called Where to Sleep. So let's see. It's a little kitten. If I were a kitten, where would I sleep? Hmm. If you were a kitten, I could sleep with a little sweet cow. There's the kitten looking at the cow. I could sleep with the cow, she says. Oh, but now she looks a little afraid. Not right now. She's not ready for bed right now. She's eating the grass. So the little kitty said, nope, not now. I could sleep in the vegetable patch. So, oh yeah, I could sleep in the vegetable patch. Oh, but I'd be looking for bunnies to catch. So there's the bunnies. And there comes the kitty jumping after the bunnies. No, not much sleeping would get done there, would it? I could sleep with the chicken flock. Hmm, maybe so. But they stay up late and talk, talk, talk. What sound does a chicken make? Bark, 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 bark. They're kind of noisy. I could sleep on the old porch swing. Oh, now that sounds good. But it's too crowded with toys and things. Look at the little kitty. Oh, I can't. There's no room for me up there. Nope. I could sleep in a soft brown shoe. Oh, yeah, kitty, that sounds good. But it's too small, so that won't do. Look at him trying to get in there. Nope, not going to fit. <clears throat> I could sleep in an old armchair. <clears throat> Is he going to be able to do that? But somebody else is already sleeping there. Oh, the dog is asleep in the armchair. <laughs> if I were a kitten, where would I sleep? All curled up at my best friend's feet. There, the little kitten is finally asleep, curled up. I don't know. Shouldn't the kitty be up on her lap? Wouldn't that be better and softer? I think that's what I would do if I was a kitty. We all, where do you sleep when it's time to sleep? Do you sleep in a bed? Are you in a plump bunk bed, a trundle bed, a crib? We all have to have <clears throat> our own little place to sleep, don't we? Yeah. Let's finish up today with our goodbye song, okay? If we all said a prayer for each other every day, what a wonderful world this would be. I would ask God to bless you and keep you every day, knowing you'd say the same prayer for me. Bye for now. Have a great week.